random accents. It's a, those accents are really hard to play, but the preparation is what makes it feasible. So he's always looking ahead to have his hand in the best position for its next event, if that makes sense. Right? So... Yeah, it's, it's a very simple thing, but it's like learning a new dance step. It's a certain choreography there that, that will trip you up for a long time. And I thought this was the stupidest thing in the world to practice. I thought it had nothing to do with music, and all the guys I was listening to didn't seem to be concerned about that at all. And it's maybe a lot of them weren't concerned about it. But... I think there is an advantage to refining your movements and to having an awareness of the most efficient way to play. And the way it helps me is when I, when I come across something that, that I trip over, I can kind of figure out why I'm tripping over it and, and know what adjustments to make to be more efficient. And so just knowing the philosophy, I, I think, is helpful. Um, yeah. Do you want to play it again with your sticks? Yeah, man. Well, these are Merlo sticks. But I haven't touched these sticks in 40 years. Uh huh. That's, that's, that's when he gave them to me. They still work? When it's a little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Joe left something in there. Try that. <laughs> Tell me if it sounds different. No offense. Like the guy says, everybody has their sound. Now wait a minute. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 55. I'm 66. Okay. With arthritis in the fingers. Well, actually, this that shows you what you can do if you've got the technique. I was taught by good players how to lead back and so on and so forth. Great. But if you're taught well and you have good technique, even when you're 66 and you have arthritis, you can still play somewhat. Can we get a TV show? 